Hi, this is your Houston chiropractor, Dr. Gregory Johnson, and we have Daryl down here with us this morning. And Daryl's from North Carolina, of Winston-Salem area, right? Go Pack. Go, go Packer. <laughs> okay. Go Pack, then. I, I said go Packers and go Texans. So uh, he's in here for some upper back pain and upper thoracic pain, especially on the right side. And he's got trigger points up here in his right trap and levator scapula and rhomboid muscles. But he's also had some right knee pain that's been bugging him off and on for several years. Uh, he does a lot of uh, exercise and, and lifting and things, so he wanted to come see us after watching our YouTube videos. So, Daryl, I want to have him show your posture first. Let's flex you forward and backwards. Now, a lot of people really aren't even aware of their own posture that much, but his head's a little bit forward and over to the right. So he's translated on the x-axis to the right, and down here his pelvis has got more room on the right side than it does the left side, so his pelvis is translated to the left while his head's forward and to the right, which that shows that he has a little curvature scoliosis in his thoracic spine. So I've already done his orthopedic neurological test, and I know a lot of you say, oh, you want to see that, but you know, if I did those, these videos would be 30, 40 minutes long. So. We're not doing those. We're just going to show you the fun part, treatment for all you crack addicts. Okay, let's lay on you tell me. The knee's just been going on the last few weeks. Okay. So, so when we're evaluating his leg length, his right leg is a half an inch shorter than his left leg. Then when I bring it up, it actually gets even. That probably tightens a little bit up in your low back and your knee. Yes. And he's got some right SI joint pain up high on his right SI joint right there. And then L5 right here too. He's got muscle hypertonicity, which is a tightening of the muscle fibers along the paraspinal regions, which is next to the spine itself, especially in this lower thoracic region. He's got T5 and 6 misaligned right here in his mid-thoracic. And then he's got some ribs uh, subluxated with the vertebrae back here in his upper thoracic, so around T3 and T4. That's where he's getting this big knot down here in his levator scapula muscle. C7 palpates to the right. C5 on the left. And then he's got an atlas sticking out on the right up here. I'm surprised he's not getting headaches. So I'm going to start off by doing the biophysics adjustment on him first. So I'm going to adjust your right SI joint first for you, Daryl. There you go. Left SI joint. And then his sacrum, I'm going to adjust it straight down in the Z and the Y axis because it was deviated to the right. And then I'm adjusting L5 straight P to A in the Z axis. L4 straight P to A, putting his curve back in his lumbar spine here. L3 all the way up into L2 and L1. Very good. Okay. I'm going to get up here in your upper thoracics here now. Yes, sir. Now, I want you just to let your head relax and let your arms yeah, fall down. You already felt that, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Okay, let this one go. That was already moving too. Good job. That's a thumb move on T1, T2. There it is. Feel that one? Mm -hmm. So we're going to reevaluate his leg length now. It's exactly even. And I bet you this feels easier than the first one did. Good. Okay. You're going to feel your head popping up a little bit on this next one. Slide down this way just a little bit. There we go. Yes, sir. Good. Now let's turn you on your back, please. <laughs> well, you picked the right day to come in because everybody's wanting to know from somebody that's never had the ring dinger done before what it feels like on the very first time. <laughs> there we go. Now slide down this way a little bit, even though they've heard it a hundred times. They keep asking that question. No, scoot back up where your head's on that hip piece. There you go. There you go. That's what I'm doing. I'm adjusting his shoulders now, his clavicles where they attach to the sternum. 
and his costosternal joints up front here on the rib cage. Good. Okay. Now we're going to get to that problem right knee. You just put your hands on your tummy. He's got some lateral play in here, which shows that he's got a little in ligaments instability. So I'm just decompressing his knee and pushing in on his fibula over here to adjust the fibula back in place with the tibia and the femur. He's got some ligaments instability over here, and he's not having pain here, but he is on his right one. Let's hit you up face this way. Feel that crepitus in your shoulders mm -hmm. when I was moving them? I did. Yeah. That crunchy noise. If you're hearing your joints popping and grinding and cracking all the time, that's called crepitus. And that's usually due to subluxation or misalignment of those joints. Not total dislocation, but just a subluxation, which is less than a total luxation. Misaligned. is the leg term for it. Biomechanical improprieties is a scientific name for it. I'll stand up face the mirror. Yeah, I know. I'm not done yet. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's flex you forward and backwards. Yep, that's already better there. That should have felt a little smoother than the first time even. Yeah. Let's come over here now. I'm going to have you get on your knees on this table. Have you ever had this adjustment done before? Yeah. Hang on one second here. No, you go ahead and get on your knees there. I'm just getting this paper for you. I have a hard time getting these little single sheets separated out here. And now I got something else for you, dude. <laughs> I'm not going to separate all those sheets. <laughs> okay. There we go. We're going to put your face all the way up in here and your chest on that. Now, I want you just to kind of let your spine sink down in here. Just let everything kind of gravity kind of pull it down. Yep. Okay. I got one more lower. Yep. Okay. Now let's come over here on this table. That's a real deep adjustment in that thoracic lumbar <laughs> spine region. I'm going to butt right there, head up there for me. So I've already decompressed him from the lower end by adjusting his knees and thighs. And that separates all the way up into the lumbosacral region. Slide up just a little bit. There we go. Let's call them spinal decompression. Spinal decompression. <laughs> yeah. I said we did a wing being from some guy uh -huh. the other day. Yeah. I attributed that to my son. I saw that. Yeah. Breathe through your nose, keep your teeth together. There you go. Yes, sir. That's it. I don't have to ask if you felt that all the way down. Yeah, see, so you're still kicking your eye. Okay, let me have your neck. There you go. Now, a lot of that shoulder tightness and knots you're getting are coming out of this lower cervical spine that I just suggested. There you go. But you lined up from head to toe now there. Don't want to adjust your ankles and your feet first. I'm just sitting there relaxed. He survived. Wow. <laughs> That's a wow adjustment. Right? Yeah. All the way down to everywhere. Waist. I'm not done yet. There you go. There's your right ankle. And there's your right foot, lateral foot. You got all these little piggies here. Okay. So there. Oh yeah, well that might be good. You feel that? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. All right, let's kind of get up sideways and stand over here in front of the mirror again. <laughs> All right, now yeah. I'm gonna have you close your eyes again and bend your head forward and backwards for me, please, sir. And then back to neutral. Take a look in the mirror right now. So you're right down the gut everywhere. Yeah. Pull these up and back though. This is still your homework right here. Okay. 
Then you want to bring your head first straight back and then look at the wall behind you. You can feel a little tap right there. Right there. Now, if you'll do this exercise right here, mm -hmm. 15 repetitions three times a day, that'll help bring that head back up over your shoulders properly. And that'll decrease the, the abnormal weight bearing compressive stress all the way down here and help put your body back into a better biomechanical mm -hmm. posture. Feel your shoulders squared off better now? I do, yeah. How but, would you uh, describe to everybody mm -hmm. your very first experience here on the spinal decompression? I thought it may would go down to about my mid or lower back, but it went all the way down below my waist. I mean, <laughs> it really did. It, it it's a full me. tilt deal, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, I'm thankful for the adjustment. I'm interested in watching the video to see what it looks like yeah. compared to all these other ones I've seen. Uh -huh. Well, you didn't cry any. So no, that's a good start. <laughs> I hope I didn't holler out. Thank you. No, you didn't. Okay. Thank you for sharing your experience with everyone. Welcome to Houston. Thank you. This is your Houston chiropractor, Dr. Gregory Johnson, coming to you from Advanced Chiropractic Relief in Houston, Texas. We'll see y'all soon.